In America today, um, sports have really just took over our nation, you know, on Saturdays, you know, Friday nights, even Sundays nowadays, we see like everyone is watching some type of sport, whether that's football, basketball, baseball, you know, sports is just really a part of our culture. You know, as sports grows and grows on people, so do the players that's playing these sports, such as NFL players are really starting to get creative, you know, different techniques with their uniforms, you know, whether that's with wearing different colored gloves, um, different colored cleats and socks. You know, even sometimes we see watches. Yes, it's hard to believe, but some players actually wear Rolex watches while they're playing the game. You know, this is first uh, relevant when a college football player did it at Virginia Tech. But now Odell Beckham, who is right here on the right, he actually has been quoted and seen to have on a Rolex watch playing the game. You know, this just really allows players, you know, just to be themselves, you know, just go out there, you know, and just really give that oomph into the world, you know, just show the fans, like, who they really are as a person. But due to NFL restrictions, NFL players aren't really allowed to have on certain assets, whether that's different colored gloves or wristbands, you know, untucked jerseys and things of this nature because the NFL is very strict on their conduct and the colors and the things that they play, that their players wear. So my name is Derek Harvey Jr. And today I'm just going to be dissecting and just letting you guys know I do not agree with the NFL policy. I really believe that these players should have the right to wear whatever they want to wear, whatever colors they want to wear, and just do what they want to do. Because at the end of the day, these players are individuals. You know, they really just want to be themselves on the field. You know, you guys don't get to see them on the field. So they just want to bring that to the fans. And then also we may have some players who have certain superstitions, so they can only play good if they have a certain sock on or a certain cleat on. And then sometimes we get some players that just say, hey, y'all look good, I play good. And so here on the left is Odell Beckham. He has on the Joker. Uh, you know, Joker is really known for his Batman, you know, arch nemesis and things of this nature. And Odell Beckham has quoted to be a great Joker fan. He also have has Joker gloves that match the cleats. You know, this is just really giving his personality on the field. Because, you know, you only see what Odell does on the field as a player. But you don't really see Odell outside of the realm of football. And this is what a lot of players and athletes are trying to do, appeal to their fans outside of football and just give you a glimpse into the life of who they really are as a person. And so this is where the uniform comes in. Because if I see this, I'm thinking, oh, the Odell loves Joker. I love Joker. Now, me and Odell kind of connect and have this connection not because of I like him as a football player, but because I like him as a person because he likes Joker and I like Joker. Or even if I like Batman, I just know he watches Batman and Joker enough to have these assets on. And this is kind of like making Odell kind of look like a normal human being again. And we're not idolizing him as a player, but as a person because he's a person first before he is an idol. And to the right, we see Jarvis Landry who has, you know, the basic, Halloween style um, cleats, but because they have gold in them, he couldn't wear them. And this just shows, you know, he is a person, so he supports Halloween. Hey, Halloween is a fun holiday growing up as a kid, dressing up getting candy. And this is what he is doing. And based on NFL rules, they are not allowed to wear these. They can only wear these cleats during pregame or practice. Because if they wear them during the game, they will get, they will get fined anywhere between $5,000 to $100,000, yes, just for wearing a pair of cleats that is not team issued. And other times we see a lot of players may have on, you know, the low um, pants, you know, uh, jerseys untucked, you know, have a shirt hanging out of their jerseys, and they get fined for these things as well. So you're not letting this player be who they are outside of the field. You know, everyone has to look the same like a uniform. And a lot of NFL players don't agree with this because maybe they want to support certain causes, you know, such as Alzheimer's Month or Breast Cancer Month. But due to NFL restrictions, they aren't allowed to do this. Then we get a classic case of where superstition involved. So here we see these is the same face mask, and this is the same person translated from college to the NFL. And this face mask is not very common at all. I think he may have been the first person to have this face mask in the National Football League. And this is just because he feels comfortable playing with that. And, you know, a lot of times players may do this. You know, they may get the same helmet that they had in college in the NFL because this is all they know. 
you know, it brings them good looks. You know, this is a mental thing at this point. And me playing at uh, Mount Union University, we have a cook kicker by the name of Corey Barnett. Corey wears the same color socks and the same sock every game, no matter what. And I asked him one time, like, why do you do this? He said, well, the last time I changed my socks up, um, we lost. I had a bad day kicking, so I have to wear these socks. No matter what colors we wear, there's a black pair of socks, and he has to wear his black shoe with the white tape over the front of it. And this is really relevant because me growing up playing sports, I know other athletes like quarterbacks who may have to wear the same towel, whether it's dirty or not. I'm like, hey, you want me to wash that for you? He said, no. And I play better when I have my dirty towel in because if I have a clean, fresh towel, I don't play as well. And, you know, although, you know, I'm thinking, okay, that's a little nasty and weird, but, hey, it was worked for him because he is different than I am, you know. And so this is like these superstitions are actually like real. You know, players don't feel comfortable if they don't have their superstitions, and it's mental. It's all a mental game at this point with superstitions, but they should still have the ability to, to be who they are and do these things outside of being judged and fined just for some silly rules. And then lastly, we see, you know, hey, if I look good, I play good. So see on the left is Jamal Adams. You know, he has the white wristbands. He has the undershirt showing. He has the green gloves, the black wristbands, uh, or uh, the black wristband, you know, brace on his hands, you know. Hey, he looks he looks very stylish, you know. So, hey, because, hey, if someone sees him on the field, oh, he can't, he ready to play. You know, this is just the aspect that you get. But based on NFL rulings, he may not even be allowed to wear some of these things. He may have got fined for this, but you know, hey, he's going to pay the fine because that's what he do. And this is just bringing his character into the game of something that he loves to do. This is just who he is as a person. And on the right, we see Alvin Kamara. You know, he has a turf tape on, you know, the jer the jerseys. Uh, it's tucked in, but his undershirt is showing. And, you know, he has the all black gloves with the black and white socks, the all black cleats, you know, looking good. And so a lot of players say, hey, if I look good, I play good. And but due to NFL rulings, he's not really allowed to have his jersey untucked. And he can't have the baggy black jersey, black shirt hanging out from his jersey. And I believe he got fined for this. Yes, he got fined for a shirt hanging out. And these are the type of rules that these players um deal with. And there's a um NFL official who used to play in the NFL for um I want to say 13 years. Um, and now he's an NFL official, so what he does is he goes around on game day to check uh, players' uniforms, you know. Um, if it's not right, they get um, fined and just document it. And he said that he, he agrees with the rules because they're safe and practical and things of this nature. But uh, my thing is if a player wants to, you know, let's say, like I said, for the pants, they have to be at their knees. The players are getting smart nowadays. They're cutting the knee pads but they still have their knee pads in and the pants are still long, but they just cut the knee pads. You know, it's just a little strip, but you can't say I don't have my knee pads in. So they're having to go other ways of doing this. Like with the jersey, make sure it's tucked in. They may tape their jerseys now so no one can grab them and things of this nature. But whereas if you just let them wear how they want to wear, you don't have to deal with these things. So players are still just outsmarting the system when if you can just let the players be themselves and if they want to get hurt along the lines of, looking cool, then that's on that player because they know the consequences behind it. But, you know, hey, I'm not an NFL official. You know, and we see this is prevalent with other sports, such as basketball. They can support their causes like breast cancer, Alzheimer's. Uh, maybe they want to uh, do like a cancer center. You know, they can have these different um, shoes on or wristbands and like their shorts are, they don't have to be a certain regulation or high because we see a lot of athletes in NBA, they have high shorts on, but they don't get fined or documented for this. So my question is to you, why does the NFL deserve this? And here are my sources. Thank you for watching.